Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody Did it over text and call me Still got love for your mommy I know you wanna be somebody Even if you gotta leave somebody Before we do the full what's on my iPad tour, I want to change my lock screen from this ocean background to a vision board. We're gonna go onto Pinterest and we're gonna grab some pictures and then make them into a collage and put them as a vision board for my lock screen. So that is what we're gonna do and then we will get into the whole what's on my iPad tour. Okay guys, it's finally time for the tour of my iPad mini 6. I got my iPad in the space gray cover. As you guys saw, I got a clear case and then this is an Apple Pencil dupe. Honestly, I believe it works just as good. The only difference is that there's a little button on the top, but you can't even notice it really. And it charges along the side of the iPad, which is something that I really wanted with the pen was to be able to have it snap to the side of the case to charge and just to like magnet there and stay put. I got this because I really want to do journaling on here and reading. I try to journal and stay consistent, but I just don't open my journal every single day. I know I'll open this every single day. So my journal is right inside here and will get used. And also reading on this in bed at night is a lot easier and I tend to read a lot quicker. I still love physical books and I love the feeling of holding the book and like seeing how many pages you read and stuff like that. But this is awesome because I can read in bed at night and not keep Malik awake and also I can highlight and annotate on my iPad whereas the books that I get I get a lot of them from the library and I can't obviously write in them so let's get into what's on my iPad so starting off we have my lock screen I'm just kind of holding the lock screen up like this so that the screen recording doesn't stop you guys saw we just made this it's super cute vision board all the things that I want to embody in my everyday life so onto my home screen for the background I just have this sandy beach sunset pictures so I kind of chose all of my widgets in this neutral sandy type color to match so I have this big dream widget a clock widget and this comes directly from the Apple widgets and then I have the sundial date widget which is from widget smith I also made the dream widget with widget smith as well I just imported a picture onto the large widget setting and put it on the screen I have a reminders widget which comes straight from reminders you don't even have to have widget smith to get that one and then also the battery percentage widget which I like that my pen when it's charging pops up on the battery widget so I can see how charged it is then I have this cute little widget with just a heart with flowers growing out of it if you guys didn't know I have a tattoo on my arm that's an anatomical heart like that so I just thought that that was super cute and then I have my FaceTime right here I have FaceTime right here because it matches with the battery widgets the green I think it looks cute together then I have this medium-sized widget down here that says love yourself and I just thought it was cute it's like a ticket like a train ticket or something I just thought it was really cute so I have that there then I have my music and Pinterest which are apps that are just standalone apps they don't really go with any I have first my book folder this is an app called Libby it's a library app you can borrow books from the library on it right now I'm reading Colleen Hoover all your perfects I just borrowed that on there 
And then we have the regular Apple Books app where you can purchase books to read on your iPad or your phone or whatever. Over here, we have my kind of notes creativity type folder. I have in here Good Notes, the regular notes app that comes with the iPad, that comes with any Apple products, Freeform, which I think comes with any Apple products, just kind of like a drawing app. You can literally do anything in there. And I have PicMonkey and Canva, which are for making collages. And I have iFont that just helps fonts download to my iPad and then then YouTube Studio, which is all of the analytics and whatnot for my YouTube channel. We're gonna come back to this folder because I really wanna show you guys what I have going on in GoodNotes as well. In my little movie show folder, I just have YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, Disney Plus, and HBO Max in here. This is obviously just the apps that I use to watch TV, watch shows, watch YouTube, whatever. Pretty self-explanatory. And then my game folder. I low-key love games, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't play them on my phone that much, so I've definitely been playing them on my iPad. And then down here, this little bar is just recent apps that you've opened and then you swipe over and it's the app library but I really really love the setup and just how productive this is going to keep me I think that it is so worth it if you're thinking about getting an iPad I want to get into good notes really quick so I can just show you how I'm going to be keeping my life organized with my iPad so if we open good notes I don't have the full version so I only get three notebooks but personally I don't need more than three these work just fine for me this notes and monthly check-in is literally just a note Book. like I can just write anything in here plan videos journal brain dump whatever in there and then Bible notes that's also pretty self-explanatory just journal about what I'm reading in my Bible but the planner that I made is very much where my life is living right now so we can just open it up oops we're gonna go back to the we're gonna go back to the home page this is the homepage of my planner. It's just this blue cute flower print that I found on Pinterest. I found all of these pages on Pinterest and I just saved them and then uploaded them into GoodNotes on the pages. So I didn't download any PDFs. I didn't purchase any of these templates. They're working on here just fine for me. So if you're curious about any of them, I'm gonna have the link to my Pinterest and the board that all of these are on. It's called Digital Planning and Journaling, I think. So that has these pages and then it also has like hex codes for customized colors for text and highlighters and stuff like that on here I just have my planner keeping my life organized so on here I have a weekly workout tracker it has week of and then all of the days of the week and also how much water you drink which I thought was really cute so that is where I'm going to track what workouts I need to do my workout split and just write down what I'm doing for each day of the week for this page of my weekly planner all the weekly spreads are the ones that I complete on Sunday or Monday whenever I feel like you know going in and planning for the week it happened to be today which is monday for this week but this is my weekly planner you can do the month the week and then obviously just plan out what you want to do for each day and at the bottom i really like that it has habits and the days of the week so that you can fill in your habits and keep track of those next we have a weekly meal planner this is pretty self-explanatory it just has a week up and then days of the week where you can fill out breakfast lunch dinner and snack and then also a little section down here to do grow groceries which I really like. Next I have my weekly budget page. I'm just getting into budgeting. You guys can see whoever made the template originally just didn't fill in Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It just has Monday over all of them but I actually just colored over. I guess like I'll just show you guys this page so you guys can see if I zoom in here you guys can see that I just changed that to Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on its own and it matches perfectly. And then I have a gratitude journal page which I will do every day gratitude journal and then the daily planner will get pasted every single day so that I can do them every day of the week if that makes sense so yeah this is a little gratitude journal it just has a date and then whatever day of the week three things you're grateful for water intake goal notes and reminders affirmations something that I'm proud of and then workout plan and goals and then the daily planner just has the date day of the week weather mood which I think is really cute and then to-do list goals reminders water intake total so I can go in and fill that out at the end of the day and then meal checker what I can write what I eat throughout the day 
money in money out that's another good way to keep track of how much we're spending and then what i'm grateful for notes and notes for tomorrow so that is what my good notes looks like yeah that is what is on my ipad super duper cute i am obsessed 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 with her thank you guys so so much for watching if you guys have any other questions leave them down in the comment section and i'll do my best to answer any questions that you guys have but thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video Bye.